now we are going to discuss about a solid state so mainly the substance is classified into three types based on the physical states one is solids second one is liquids third one is gases now our chapter is solid states so that's why we are discussing about solids so what are the main concepts in the properties of solids so that is uh, these have perfect mass perfect volume perfect shape and uh, the intermolecular distance is very less and the forces are very strong next these are made up of with uh, at atoms molecules and ions the another important point uh, the classification of solids so the solids are mainly classified into two types uh, that is amorphous and crystalline so in the entrance point of view mainly they will ask about properties of a crystalline and amorphous so now here i am giving one shortcut that is loras loke her pleasure anix sharp true perfume so it means so one by one we will discuss lora means that is a long range so these are the crystals are long range connectivity substances next second point these are available with slow cooling next these are hard and rigid substances and these have planar surfaces and these are anisotropic properties are showing so x rays are easily diffracted on the surfaces and these have sharp melting point next these are called as true solids and these have perfect heat of fusion it is similar to melting points only and exact opposite to these crystallines is the amorphous so the amorphous is available through short range so in sudden cooling amorphous are available so the amorphous are soft substances next these have zigzag surfaces next amorphous has isotropic properties the x ray diffraction is not available on amorphous the melting points are not sharp these are available in the long range these the amorphous are called as pseudo solids otherwise super cooled liquids next heat of fusion is not in the perfect manner next the solids again based on the chemical bonds the solids are classified into the four types so first ionic the best examples are nacl kcl kno3 and so many so that is next covalent it is also called as networking so these are the examples are diamond graphite next any large charges are there so aluminum nitride aluminum plus 3 nitrogen is minus 3 so that also coming under networking next molecular crystals these are classified into polar non polar hydrogen bond already we know pole means a charge the molecule which has charges like hcl so2 co these are coming under polar molecular crystals next non polar so means there is no charges means similar atoms so like hydrogen chlorine oxygen nitrogen you take consider hydrogen bond already we know chemical bonding in the hydrogen bond these are mainly forming fluorine oxygen nitrogen with hydrogen next metallic bonds this is a famous all metals you can consider so sodium magnesium copper silver gold are coming under this if the crystalline solids we are dissociated or disintegrated you are getting a crystal lattice it is also called as a space lattice if space lattice is further dissociated you will get unit cells so what is unit cell otherwise if unit cells are associated you are getting space lattice space lattice is associated again you are getting crystals see the difference between unit cell and space lattice so unit cell is a three dimensional undissociated repeated structure in both space lattice as well as crystals 
Next, what about the crystal lattice or space lattice? So it is also a three-dimensional structure but dissociated into small unit cells and it is a repeated structure in the crystals. See, this is nothing. Suppose you take building. The building is a crystal. If it is dissociated, you are getting rooms. That rooms is what a space lattice. Again, room is dissociated. You are getting bricks. That is nothing but a unit cell. So mainly in our unit cell, these are classified into four important parts. One is a simple cube. Second, body centered cube. Third, face centered cube. Fourth one, end centered cube. Next, the space lattice. These are classified into seven types with the combination of unit cells. So this is introduced by the scientist Brayweiss. So that's why these are called as Brayweiss lattices. See, before going to discuss about unit cells, some important points we must discuss. That is space lattice points and their confusion in the unit cell. So our important crystal is a cubical structure. So cube is like this. So here four important points. One is a corner point, body centered point, face centered point, edge centered point. So in the cube we have eight corners. So this point we called as a corner point. In the total cube the middle you put one point that is called as a body center. Next this four corners we are called as one face exact face middle one point you called as a face center point next two corner points are connected that is called as edge this middle of the point of edge you called as edge center now this is very important in the entrance point of view also the cube contains eight corner po corner points each corner is contacted with 8 unit cells. Therefore, the corner contribution to 1 unit cell is 1 by 8. Second, the cube contains only one body center point exact middle of the cube. So that's why its contribution is going to 1 only. Next, third, Face center points. Faces we have six. So that's why face center points also we are getting six. Next, each face center is contacted with two unit cells. So that's why this contribution is one by two. The last one, edge. The edge center. So we have 12 edges are there. So every edge is contacted with four unit cells. So that's why its contribution is become as a one by four. Now we are going to discuss about unit cells. First simple cube. See the cube contains eight corners. Eight corners occupied by eight atoms. That is a simple cube. Next BCC. BCC means cube 8 corners occupied with 8 atoms and one atom is occupied at body centered. Next third one is FCC. In FCC 8 corners are occupied with 8 atoms and each face center occupied with one atom. So 6 face centers. Now the important points in this. First we take lattice points lattice points in the simple cube so it contains eight corners next in bcc eight corners one body center total is nine in fcc eight corners six face centers total 14 next number of atoms in the unit cell so corner point and its contribution one by eight so 8 into 1 by 8 that equal to 1. Next in BCC, 8 into 1 by 8 plus body center 1 into 1. Total atoms are 2. Next in FCC, 8 corners into contribution is 1 by 8. 6 face centers into contribution is half. Total number of atoms are 4. 
third edge length a versus radius relation so here a equal to 2r or r equal to a by 2 in bcc root 3a body diagonal equal to 4r r equal to root 3a by 4 a by 4 next in face diagonal root 2a equal to 4r so that is r equal to a by 2 root 2 next packing fraction so in examination they are asking in pi values also for simple cube that is pi by 6 for bcc root 3 pi by 8 for fcc pi by 3 root 2 so percentage of packing fraction simple cube is 52 percentage bcc is 68 percentage fcc is 74 percentage next void percentage of void or gap so the empty space after the occupying atoms in simple cube that is a 48 percentage next in bcc 32 percentage in fcc 26 percentage so in cet point of view only they will ask first coordination number so for simple cube it is 6 6 for bcc it is 8 for fcc it is 12 see after completion of the unit cells we must discuss about space lattice otherwise crystal lattices so it is it depends on the edge length abc and angles alpha beta gamma so these are x axis a edge length y axis b edge length z axis c edge length and their angles so that is alpha beta gamma so for uh, these are explained by scientist Breivice. So that's why these are also called as Breivice lattices. It is uh, seven types are there. Next in entrance point of view, it is a compulsory question, whatever the entrance it is. So I'm giving one shortcut for you. That is Q tet ororam hemotree. So first one is cubical tetragonal, orthoramal, orthorhombic, rhombohedral. It is also called as a trigonal. Next, hexagonal, monoclinic, triclinic. So here, the edge lengths. So edge length, first you take A equal to B equal to C. Next, one you take not equal. After that, two not equal. Next onwards, again you repeat these three. A equal to B equal to C. Next one is not equal. Two is not equal. Next last one is completely not equal only. Next second important point alpha beta gamma values. First three you take direct 90 degrees. Next alpha beta gamma not equal to 90. Next two are alpha beta equal to 90 gamma equal to 120. Next here you exchange alpha gamma equal to 90, beta equal to not equal to 90, not equal to 90 degrees. Next triclinic alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90. Next in the crystal lattice which unit cells are present that also important so our cubic SBF simple cube body centered face centered. Next, in tetragonal, simple cube, body centered. Orthorhombic, simple cube, BCC, FCC, ECC, end centered. Here, simple cube. Here, hexagonal also simple cube. So, here, simple cube, end centered. Here, simple cube. Next, in hexagonal, you put star point. Because of all our cubical structures, but this is only hexagonal structure. Next one example also I am giving for every see here NaCl majority are sulfates CaSO4 BaSO4 here Na2SO4 C4 here Na2SO4 CuSO4 so simply you can remember as Naka Baka graphite Naka just you remember next we have two important compounds in our chemistry KMnO4 and K2Cr2O7 so orthorhombic is KMnO4 triclinic is K2Cr2O7